Hi Gay Shark viewers! You're probably wondering why I haven't created two vlogs in the last couple of days. Well, um, I've been really busy ever since uh, the United States was downgraded from uh, AAA to uh, AA+. And what you're thinking is, why would you be getting ready? I'm like, well, I'm trying to settle things around uh, the house and get things done because the, the, the collapse is coming. No, I'm just joking. No, I've been really busy uh, looking for work in the last two days, and I just did not have time to create a vlog. So today I will be talking about a couple of things that were, um, I was going to talk about those in, in those days, like uh, the Bieber penis. Um, for those who haven't seen it yet, um, don't look at it. I mean, because technically he's still 17, but anyway, he was clothed and he was like swimming in his underwear. But anyway, we've got that. We've got Queen Latifah and her trainer. Uh, we've got Robert Best. Now, if you don't know who he is, he's a Catholic priest. I think he's Catholic. Let me make sure. Uh, yeah, he's a Catholic priest and 26 of his sexually assaulted um, people committed suicide uh, so uh, I'll have all the links to most of these in the description or um, in the crutch so uh, you'll see those and then um, what I've been doing the last couple of days you know and and stuff and you'll get to see an in-depth view as to who I am anyway yeah well first off we're gonna talk about the beaver penis and how messed up this kid is to be sitting around swimming in his underwear, just his underwear, uh, where paparazzi can see. Now, um, I'm sorry, you may be 17 and all, but, and, and you're famous, so you gotta be careful. Um, where's some damn trunks, dude? Now, I mean... I'm all for showing some skin and maybe a little bit of extra, but come on now, you're famous. You have to realize that people are going to be watching you 24-7 trying to get your your naughty bits. Um, thumbs, thumbs up for... No, thumbs up for naughty bits. Yay! I'm not going to edit this very much. Or if I am, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, yeah, um... Yeah, they, they have pictures of his naughty bits, or his schlong. I don't know what the hell's going on with it. Uh, I don't know why he's so popular with kids. I mean, he made a two-year-old cry just because he's cute. He's not really cute, I'm sorry. But, I mean, maybe he'll grow into his features or something. I, I don't know. It just seems a little weird to be obsessing over a kid. Anyway, now to my favorite closeted or if she isn't closeted damn girl you trying uh we're going to queen latifah and her uh personal trainer jeanette jenkins and there's a picture of them just holding each other and queen latifah is just oh my god she looks so pretty anyway uh i think it looks beautiful i'll have the link to that uh I don't think she's ever been out of the closet. I mean, she was wearing like this, um, or the, the, the trainer was wearing like the skimpiest of skimpy bikinis and Queen had like this, I don't know, she was wearing swim trunks and she had like this bikini top. Now, of course, she's, she's had work done on her hair and it started to fade, but that's only because, well, um, She's rich and she lets shit, you know, get done. Anyway, yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a going to be a lot of cussing in this. Um, if you're, if you're, uh, you know, a minor or something, I don't care. You clicked on the vlog yourself. Sorry. So anyway, yeah, I kind of hope that they're doing it. But then again, um, I kind of hope that it doesn't become like this wide, big spectacle of her, you know, coming out and then her getting harassed um another thing i wanted to talk about was i know this wasn't good great news uh but where was it uh it was the um 
Westboro Baptist Church heading to Norway. Uh, this happened on August the 3rd, the president's birthday, I think. But anyway, um, truthfully, uh, these people are the um, worst kind of people I have ever seen. Uh, I would not wish them harm, but I kind of... Kinda. Now, you're, you might take this out of context. I kind of wish their plane would just crash. Um, th these people are just hateful. Hateful. I mean, they would even pick at Ryan Dunn's funeral. Now, I'm sorry. Ryan Dunn may have been one of those jackass guys, but he was fucking a person. You don't just sit there and you don't call him, hey, he, he's a fag enabler. What's a fag enabler? I'm sorry, what, what what the fuck is a fag enabler? Is, it, is that a person who's going to sit here and say, hey, um, you can be gay all you want. Sure, it's not like it's going to hurt me any. Yeah, sure. That's a fag enabler? Okay. That's my mother. That's my brother. That's, you know, that's my family. Who says, yeah, you can be gay. It won't hurt me any. Anyway. Yeah, truthfully, uh, they're, they're, they're going to Norway to protest and picket the 75 plus children deaths. I think it's 75. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, they're going there because of the, 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 the children who died and they're picketing there. And I see an international incident happening. I really truly do. I see something really bad. Um, they're apparently going they released it July 31st, and it doesn't say when they're going to be there. Yeah, it doesn't say when they're going to be there. So let's hope this week, you know, they fly out. Norway either arrests them or tries to have them deported, and the United States does not take them back. Truthfully, I, I would, I would see more use out of their land than them as people. You know, we could sit here and put a shopping mall in or a parking lot or actual really good apartments because I don't think anybody would actually want to, you know, be in that area where they sit here and just all that hate. Oh. Anyway. So, uh, on to Robert Best. Uh, he, uh, he raped children through 1969 and 1988. And he pretty much said, I didn't know it was a sin. I didn't know it was immoral. I, I just, I didn't know. Really? You didn't know raping children was bad? And I, I'm sorry, but you're an asshole. And you're a priest. Just because you can't sit here and get down with the ladies doesn't mean anything. Now, I'm gay, so I don't give a shit about, you know, man, woman lesbians, gay men. Truthfully, I don't care about the whole sex thing. I care about the relationship. Sex is just a bonus. But this guy, oh, I I would hang him personally. Because not only did he rape hundreds, hundreds of children, but he did it through 20 years. Or actually 19 years. He did it through 19 years. And they were his altar boys and and this is really stupid and um let's see the vatican said if it helps the victims i'd be more than happy to go uh go ahead the bishop of something told aap truthfully um he's pretty much saying yeah um you can investigate but it's not like it's really gonna help Really, dude? Your church is known for being a pedophilic cesspool of disgusting. And 26 of his victims committed suicide. Suicide, which means that they're not here anymore. Um, that's bullshit. He should be removed, not moved to a different church removed, arrested, and publicly humiliated. I'm sorry. I, I, I want to go back to the whole public humiliation thing. Public trials, 
public executions. Bring it back because these people just don't get it. When you do something like this, you get punished. I I'm sorry. This is ridiculous where these pedophiles can just go out and keep doing the crime and they're just hurting more and more people. Now, truthfully, um, I don't believe in executing them. Uh, I would sit here and find a punishment that fit the crime. Now, since he molested uh, and, and had sex with these kids, I would chop his penis off. Um, uh, I'd probably sit here and do it the old-fashioned way, not with like a rusty knife or anything. Uh, I'd do it the old Chinese torture way. Have him um, bound, have the skin completely pulled, and have water, salt water, drip for days through his penis. Yeah, that seems fitting. Every drip for every single uh, every single minute that he molested those children. Yeah, I see. I see that being fitting. Now, uh, that might be a little gross to some people. Um, uh, so yeah, my friend John uh, is is skyping me right now. So uh, give me just a second so I can tell him I'll be right there. Um, yeah, I, I took my brace off, so it's a little difficult to, uh, to type here today. Um, what should I say? Hmm, he wants to play webcam magic. Can't. Vlogging at the moment. Be there in ten. So. Uh, so yeah, my friend John plays a lot of magic with us, uh, with me. He taught me how to play. Uh, so that's a bonus, and he tests his, oh my god, powerful decks, his tournament decks, on me and his friends, and, um, I lose a lot. I think it's, like, over a hundred losses and only, like, maybe 15 wins. Uh, yeah, it sucks, but, I mean, I'm playing, I, I, I don't play very well, but some people are like, wow, you play so well, I'm like, no, my friends play better. So anyway, yeah, um, those are the top things that I wanted to talk about uh, today. It's a little weird. Oh, I also wanted to talk about the $1 plastic chip that can diagnose HIV in 15 minutes. Um, I'll have a link in the description. This is, it's a little weird. Now, mind you, my, I have a very deep fear of HIV. And what you may think is fear as in, oh, you're a gay man, so you fear it every day. No, I fear that my uncle, who has it, would, end be, would be dead if he didn't get treatment. I fear that if, if it wasn't, or at least trying to be prevented, I don't think I would have ever met him, ever. So I, I'm glad that there's treatment out there, and I'm glad that there's ways to prevent it or combat it and this this seems really interesting uh it's a dollar chip one dollar so uh it's called the m chip a credit card sized piece of plastic that it produces that is produced using a plastic injection molding process tests for multiple diseases with just one prick of blood pin prick pin prick pin prick there's no moving parts uh so uh, it can be tested with it. It's got a, with a four to six false positive rate, four to six percent. I mean, that's not bad for something so quick. Now, if they can get that false positive rate, um, lower to maybe at least three percent, I, I'd be, I'd use it every day or not every day because, well, you can't really test every single day for HIV. Or at least I don't think you can. But, I mean, um, please, if you have the disease, please have safe sex. Keep getting tested. Go to the doctor. Get your medications. Please, please be safe. And if you don't have it and are not using a condom while having sex, please be safe. It is, HIV does not discriminate. It is a killer. Please, please, please have safe sex. If you're going to do it, have safe sex. 
anyway, this is probably the longest vlog I have ever done. So what I will do is I will uh, leave the vlog for today. And uh, this is to all the people who probably have been wondering where my Friday and Saturday videos were. I'm so sorry. I was busy. Um, but I made up today by doing a whole bunch of topics. And I'll probably make a second vlog today for Saturday. This is just for Friday and Saturday. Um, I'll make one for Sunday today. So anyway, this is the Gay Shark signing off for right now. Bye-bye.